Hi guys, let us discuss knapsack problem using branch and bound strategy. So let us define what is knapsack problem now. The problem statement input capacity of knapsack that is W weight of n items W1, W2 and so on Wn value of n items V1, V2 and so on Vn. The goal is to maximize the value of the items that can be placed inside the knapsack with the constraint of total weight of selected items should not exceed the maximum capacity of knapsack W. Assume there is a bag with the capacity of capital W for example 10 kg or 20 kg like that it is available with you there are several items with the different weights for example 2 kg 4 kg 3 kg something like that and each item has got a value in terms of money for example the w1 the weight may be 2 kg and the v1 value may be 40 rupees like that each item has got different weights and its values now our aim is to accommodate as much as possible in the back because the back has got a constraint of maximum capacity 20 kg or 30 kg something like that so we have to accommodate as much as possible inside the back with the aim of maximizing the value of the items that is placed inside the back this is the sample knapsack problem this knapsack problem is categorized as 0 slash 1 knapsack problem it means that if you are selecting the particular item we have to take it in full we cannot take a part of the item for example if you are selecting the item number 1 we have to take it the full 3 kg inside the bag suppose if you are selecting the item number 2 we have to take it in full that is all 7 kg we cannot take a part of it that is 2 kg of item number 2 and 1 kg of item number 1 it is not possible so that is why this is called as 0 slash 1 knapsack problem that means you have to select the item or you should avoid it that is the only option available the data given is the maximum capacity of the knapsack capital W is 10 kg and uh, four different items are given and uh, for each item the weight is given and also the value of the particular item is also given in the problem this is the formula we are going to use it to solve this knapsack problem using branch and bound strategy we say that to compute the upper bound why we say upper bound because we want to maximize the value so the formula is upper bound is equal to small b that is the value of the item which you are currently dealing with that plus the capital w is capacity of the knapsack minus small w that is the weight of the item which we are currently dealing with that and v i plus 1 divided by w i plus 1 that is the value of the item which you are going to choose next divided by weight of the item which you are going to choose the next anyway you note down the formula i will explain it and you can understand when you apply it in the data first step in this solution is calculate pi is equal to vi by wi for each item for example if we take item number one what is the value 12 12 by what is the weight 3 so 12 by 3 4 so like that for the item number 2 what is the value 42 42 by 7 weight is 7 so the value is 6 so for each uh, item we are calculating the value per kg next step is to sort the table in descending order based on value by weight that means the item with the maximum value 
is placed in first place. Next, the item with the, the next maximum value will be placed in second place and so on. So, this is the important step in the knapsack problem solution using branch and bound. Create a node like this with the two rows and this is the origin so we call it as node 0. Currently W is equal to 0, V is equal to 0 and how do you calculate this upper bound? Apply the formula now small v. So what is a small v here? 0 plus uh, capital W. What is capital W? Maximum capacity of the knapsack. So in this problem the maximum capacity is given as 10 kg. So 10 minus smaller w. So what is small w here? 0. So you substitute here 0. And uh, v i plus 1. That means uh, what is the item which you are going to choose next? So, we have just started the solution. So, we are going to start with the first item. So, the first item value is 40. So, 40 divided by what is the weight of the item? 4. So, 40 by 4. So, substitute the values. So, you will get the answer 100. So, that is the upper bound value. We are going to substitute here. Upper bound is equal to 100. Okay, listen carefully. Now, we are going to deal with the item number 1. So, the left subtree is with the item number 1. The right subtree is without item number 1. When you go to the left subtree, with the item number 1 means, this W value should be added with the weight of the item number 1. So, what is the weight of the item number 1? 4. So, this W will become 4. Okay. Next, what is the value of this previous node? 0. P is equal to 0. Now, what is the item which you are going to choose? 1. So, what is the value of the item number 1? 40. So, you add 40 plus this 0. So, you will get 40 here. So, with these two values, you have to calculate this upper bound. So now you apply the formula. So upper bound is equal to what is a smaller v value? You refer here 40 plus uh, this capital W is maximum capacity that is 10 minus what is the w value? Small w value here. You refer this node 4 10 minus 4 multiplied by v i plus 1 divided by w i plus 1. That means uh, the item which you are going to choose next, uh, that is what important. So, we have already discussed about item number 1. So, what is the next item which you, we can choose? Item number 2, isn't it? So, here if you divide it 42 divided by 7, you will get 6. So, you substitute the values and calculate this upper bound, you will get upper bound is equal to 76. When you go to the right side without the item number 1, that means you are not going to choose the item number 1. That means uh, this W value and V value will be as it is. But how to calculate this upper bound? So again the, apply the formula. Upper bound is equal to smaller V value is 0 plus capital W is 10 minus the weight is also 0. But what is the item which you are going to choose next? That is 2, item number 2. That is vi plus 1 divided by wi plus 1. That means 42 by 7, that is 6. So you have to substitute 6 here. So the upper bound is 60. Now you compare the upper bound of this left subtree and the right subtree. The find the maximum out of these two. So this value is high compared to this upper bound value. So we are going to proceed in this direction. So that is very much important. We have to compare the upper bound value of these two left and right subtree and we have to proceed with the, the larger one. So here this upper bound is equal to 76. So we are going to proceed in this direction. So, we already discussed about item number 1. So, now the left subtree is with item number 2 
and write subtrees without item number 2. So now as we have discussed in the previous calculation, so you add this W value with the weight of the item number 2 which you are going to choose now. So you refer the table. So what is the weight of item number 2? 7. So 7 plus 4, this W value will become 11. But what is the maximum capacity of the knapsack which is given in the problem 10 kg. So as it exceeds that, so this solution is not feasible. So we need not calculate the upper bound value for this node. And the right subtree without 2. So without 2 means this W and V value will be carried out here as it is. So W is equal to 4 and V is equal to 40. Now we have to calculate this upper bound value. So what is the formula? Upper bound is equal to smaller V value. So what is here? 40 plus capital W value is 10 minus. So what is the W value here? 4 multiplied by VI plus 1 divided by WI plus 1. So we have already chosen the item number 2. So what is the item which you can choose next? It is item number 3. So in the item number 3, you divide by 25 by 5, you will get 5. So that is the value substituted here. So if you apply it in this formula, you will get upper bound is equal to 70. Now we are focusing on this node. So the next item is with 3 and without 3. So the left subtree with 3 means you see the W value. W value is equal to 4 plus what is the weight of the item number 3 you refer here it is 5. So 4 plus the weight of the item number 3 that is 5 that is 4 plus 5 9. So W is equal to 9. So what is the V value here 40 plus value of the item number 3 is 25. So 40 plus 25 65. So now with these two values, we have to calculate the upper bound. So upper bound is equal to, so small v value is 65 plus the maximum capacity of the knapsack that is capital W that is 10 minus small w value is 9 here. So 10 minus 9 multiplied by v i plus 1 divided by w i plus 1. That means the next item you can choose from the table. So the next item is fourth item. So what is the fourth item here? So you refer the table. So what is the value? 12. 12 by 3, 4. So substitute the value here. So what is the upper bound value? 69. When you go to the right subtree, without 3. So without 3 means, as we already discussed, this W and V value will be carried out as it is. But we have to calculate the upper bound value for this node. So again you calculate upper bound is equal to what is the small v value here 40 plus capital W value is 10 minus what is the weight value 4 10 minus 4 multiplied by v i plus 1 divided by w i plus 1 that is fourth item. So 12 by 3 is 4 so substitute the values so you will get upper bound is equal to 64. When you compare upper bound value of this left subtree and upper bound value of this right subtree, this upper bound value is higher than the right subtree upper bound value. So we are going to expand this node. Now we have already discussed item number 3. So now the left subtree is with item number 4 and right subtree is without item number 4. So when you say with item number 4, you add the W value that is 9 plus the weight of item number 4. So what is the weight of item number 4? 3. So 9 plus 3 it will become 12. But what is the maximum capacity of the knapsack given in the problem? Only 10 kg. So the this weight exceeds the maximum capacity. So this node will not lead to the solution. So we just say not feasible. We need not calculate upper bound for this node. When you go to the right subtree without 4. So without 4 means as we already discussed 
this W and V value will be carried out as it is here for this node. When you calculate upper bound for this node, so according to the formula, the small v value is 65 plus what is a capital W? 10. What is a small w? 9. So 10 minus 9. But you should note down what is the value of the next item which you can choose from the table. So we already discussed with the item number 1, 2, 3, 4. So there is no further items. So that means uh, we cannot substitute values for vi plus 1 divided by wi plus 1. So we can take it as 0. So only the small v value will be placed as upper bound value. That is upper bound value is 65. Now we have fully completed in the left subtree of the root node. And what is the upper bound value? We got it here 65. So you compare with this upper bound value, this is also lesser than this upper bound value. So this is inferior to node 8 and also here also you refer what is upper bound value 60. So this is also lesser than this upper bound value. So you need not proceed in this direction further. So what is ultimate solution is upper bound value 65. Now you find the solution path from the root node to this solution node. So you start from the root node with 1. That means we have to choose the item number 1 without 2. So that means we should not select the item number 2. And with 3, that means we have to select the item number 3. And without 4, so that means the final solution is selected items, item number 1 and 3. So when you select item number 1 and 3, you find the value 40 plus 25, 65. So that is the maximum value. You can put it in the knapsack. So what is the total weight? So you add the weight of first item and the third item, 9 kg. So our knapsack capacity is 10 kg. So we can accommodate 9 kg with the value of 65. Let us try to solve this knapsack problem using the branch and bound algorithm. 